What is up, YouTube? It is Daffy Style Gaming or DSG, and we are back at it again with another Anthem video for you today. And on today's video, we are going to be covering the world of Anthem. And now, by world, I mean the entire environment that we will be playing on. I'll be talking a bit about Fort Tarsus, a bit about the enemies in the world, and then also a, a bit about the Striders, which I covered in a previous video as well. But before we get into the main video, the meat of the video, I want to say thanks to everybody who subscribed, who's liked all my videos, especially my Anthem ones are getting a lot of views. It's fantastic. We just hit 300 subs like two or three days ago. And we're already at 350 plus right now, which is ridiculous. We've, we've gone up so fast in, within two or three days. So thanks for everybody who's, who has subscribed, who's liked everything like that i wanted to do giveaways such as which i've mentioned before in uh in my last giveaway video i wanted to do many giveaways in between many random giveaways in between 300 and 400 but because we're about to hit 400 already i'm just about to do a giveaway today i'll be posting a, a video on that uh, a little later i'll be doing a giveaway for that that's gonna last for two days all you got to do on that one is just comment uh but i'm gonna be posting a video about that uh giveaway and then i'll be doing a stream tonight which will have a warframe related giveaway as well so now that's out that's out the way thanks again to everybody for <laughs> was actually getting to the video itself now the world of anthem i haven't seen a lot of people cover this everybody's really just been talking about the javelins a bit of the customization some pre-order stuff here i've been talking about it as well but a lot of people haven't actually covered the world, the place that we're going to be spending most of our time in the game at, in Anthem. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, covering everything that we know so far about the world of Anthem. Now, going to the world. They said that the world itself is a multi-layered world. And by multi-layered, they mean it'll have multiple cliffs, caves, caverns, with lakes and more underneath. It's, it's essentially the definition it's layered <laughs> multi-layered there's going to be a lot of places that you can go in the world of anthem you may be at the very top of something and then jump down and you're like i'm at the bottom but you go walk a little bit more and you're going further down into the cave into a cave somewhere or cavern there's going to be lakes and other things that they said uh as well they also mentioned that there's going to be a, a a lot to explore in the world of anthem and that they wanted it to feel so big essentially the world itself so big that it was almost impossible for people to explore in a day now <laughs> that being said i'm not saying that it won't be possible to explore in the day because i'm pretty sure there will be people on youtube making videos like the first day it comes out won't be in like three hours later i've explored everything but <laughs> they want it to feel as big feel that big that it would be impossible for you to explore every cavern every cave every lake just everything in a day so that's pretty cool to take note of uh i guess that just gives you a bit of the scale of the game itself and how big the actual open world environment is supposed to be or at least is going to feel like which is fantastic because that at least seems like it'll always be something new and fresh now they also mentioned that they wanted players in the in the open world itself to have as much freedom as possible in the, well as much freedom as possible in the world essentially so they want you to be able to do what you want in the world. And they gave examples as in jumping off and diving from wherever you want in uh, the open world. They want players to be able to explore new and secret locations, caves and caverns. Even some are, uh, can be used strategically in potential fights and encounters in games. And some are even shortcuts across different paths in the world. So that's pretty cool to take note of. They also said, uh, on a side note, they also mentioned about the world itself, that they want the world to feel like it changes every time you come back. So whether it be them changing it by doing a Shaper Storm event, which happens in the world as well, or if it's a story mission that changes the world for you, or if it's just you exploring the world itself, they said that every time you come back to the world itself, they, wanted, they want you to at least feel like it's changed a bit. So I think that's pretty dope. I, th I think that's a pretty cool thing for them to actually uh want to do in an open world game because that's that's really a big thing about most open world games are, or or semi-open world games like think of someone like destiny 
where there's the, there's EDZ, there's Mars, there's there's places that you can go, planets, and it's like once you've seen one place, you've seen it all. So once you go to the EDZ and you've gone around in a big circle, you've pretty much seen everything there is to see there. Nothing special, nothing's going to surprise you. So by the looks of this, it sounds like that they at least want your experience to at least slightly change. Even if it's a little, they want every experience to be different. So that's fantastic. Now, let's get into Fort Tarsus and everything we know so far. It's pretty similar to the Strider, uh, but it's essentially going to be your main base of operation. It's, it's Think Tower and Destiny. It's going to be where everybody goes. They said it's going to be where you go to pick up your missions, of course. They said it's going to be a place where you also learn about a lot of characters and your character as well. You'll be able to talk with multiple and different people, NPCs, and that the, that the everything that happens on Fort Tarsus actually is not a shared experience with your friends. When you're on Fort Tarsus, you are there by yourself experiencing your own personal story. So whatever happens to you and your story, your Fort Tarsus may actually look completely different than your friend's Fort Tarsus because everything that happens to you in game and in story affects your character and your public space personally. So that's pretty cool to take note of as well. They also said that uh, while you're there, you'll be able to discover more, uh, you'll, you'll pretty much make relationships with other NPCs and learn more about motivations and uh, uh, of certain NPCs and more about the world while you're there as well. Now, by relationships, what I'm assuming uh, that they're talking about are the Sentinels. Now, in Sentinels, they, they're, they haven't really gone too much into detail with it. But again, like I said, I've covered a, or I've done a lot of research on, on this game so far. And the Sentinels in the game apparently are like the police slash guards. They're one of the splintered factions of the Legion of Dawn. And they're the more like strict, uptight versions of us. Like as a freelancer, we're more of like the just go out, do what you want to do. The, the Sentinels are essentially the uphold walls, peace type of people. So the Sentinels are apparently going to be there as well. Uh, and there's also going to be uh, many missions in game while you're in the world where you can interact with the Sentinels. There'll be many objectives, whether it be, oh, there's a down Sentinel. Uh, let's go help him out. So there'll be stuff like that as well. But that's pretty much all that we got on Fort Tarsus itself. Now... Let's get into the enemies that will be seen in the world of Anthem itself. So there's not much that we, uh, they've gone into detail with. There's not even really many uh, much footage of it. We've seen some of the enemies that they kind of just shoot uh, the mini, uh, I guess, minions that you see around the world. Those are called the Scar. They're your generic in-game creatures, in-world creatures, essentially. But there's the Scar, and then we know that there's also the Nabinian who are going to be a story focused, uh, I guess, our antagonists in the game, which are going to be a story focused uh, villains for us is the Dominion, which are humans and another splintered fraction of the Legion of Dawn. So there are no, more other humans in Javelin suits as well. Now, also, they said there's going to be enemies called Apex enemies, which are creatures that not only attack you, but surprisingly other creatures in the world as well. So that's pretty cool to take note of. They also said there will be public event enemies similar to the ancient giant that you see right here. And then also that, which they didn't show, but it doesn't actually come off as much of a surprise that there'll be flying enemies as well. So think enemies in the sky, there'll be that. So that's what we know about enemies so far. This, well, th there's actually a bit more because this actually ties into the enemies, but this is about the ecosystem in the game. So there is going to be a day and night cycle. And then there's going to be a, a, they said weather, but I'm assuming that they mean the storms, the shaper storms, unless there actually is going to be in game, you know, real time weather, whether it be rain, snow or whatever happens here in this world. But they did say that the enemies spawn differently during certain times. So during the day and night cycle, the enemy spawn differently than during the weather, they said. So whether it be the Shaper Storms or if there is an actual weather system in game, the enemies themselves will actually spawn differently as well. So that's pretty cool to take note of. So the actual ecosystem in game is always changing too. So not only do they want the world to feel different every time you come back, the world may legit look different every time you come back 
with the way that the ecosystem works. Same with the different enemies that are spawning in during the certain times of days or the weather. So that's pretty cool. That's that's amazing. Actually, in my, my opinion, that's that's a pretty cool feat. Now, the, uh, the last thing that you'll see in the world, which I've mentioned in another video, is the Strider. Now, the Strider is essentially your Fort Tarsus on wheels. It's your mobile base of operations, whereas Fort Tarsus is your hub, your main base of operations. The Strider is the walking creature that you, or the walking machine that you see at the beginning of the, uh, the gameplay trailer, which, you know what, here it is. This is the, <laughs> that's the Strider. But this, that, the Strider is gonna be where you pretty much, uh, you're with your crew, you meet your crew, which they also mentioned that the crews are different for each faction. So apparently the Sentinels even have their own crew, whereas uh, the Freelancers have a crew as well. And then also on the Strider, you'll be able to, like I said, you'll be able to meet your crew. That's where they reside at. Uh, you'll pick up new missions. You'll be able to rearm and resupply, and then also load out your Javelin while you're actually uh, on the Strider. So you don't always have to constantly go back to Fort Tarsus, oh, like whether you're in the middle of a mission or something like that. So that's cool to take note of. That's everything we actually got for this video. That's all we know. Like I said, that's what we know about the enemies, we, what we know about the Strider, everything that we know about the hub so far, and then also about the world itself of Anthem, the, the actual environment, the, uh, the geography of it, the caves, the caverns, the lakes, uh, the working ecosystem, which is, like I said, still is pretty cool to me. Different enemies that spawn there, the Scar, the Minion, so yeah, that's everything we got on the world of Anthem. I hope this video was informative to you guys. Like I said, I haven't seen a lot of YouTubers cover this, uh, anything about the world of Anthem. So I, I wanted to make a video about it at least because there, there was some information on it at least. So I thought it was worth making a video of just to keep everybody else informed. So thank you guys for watching. I love all y'all. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the subs. Like I said, I keep growing on the subs just keep growing every single day. I'll be, like I said, I'll be posting a giveaway video a little later today. Uh, and then also I'll be doing a giveaway stream later tonight. So stay tuned for both of those. Be posting this first though. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Docu Style Gaming is out. Peace.